So today, we got some awesome boat trailer hacks for you. And we're gonna be- Speaking of trailers, what does a tornado and a redneck divorce have in common? I don't know. Somebody's about to lose a trailer. Let's move on with these boat trailer hacks so he'll shut up. Boat trailer hack number one. One of the best and cheapest things to upgrade on your boat trailer is your tail lights. And a good way to upgrade your tail lights is by going to LED lights. You can get them at almost any store, even Harbor Freight has them. And they have submersible LED tail lights. That's a word you should remember submersible. And there's some benefits to having LED lights. For one, they use less power. Two, they're a lot brighter. And three, they don't create heat. Regular light bulbs get hot. If you've got a boat trailer, you're backing it in the water. And you know what happens when you put a hot bulb in cold water. I'm just saying. Plus, it's really something simple that you can upgrade and easy to change. Boat trailer hack number two. Another awesome upgrade for your boat trailer is boat guidons. I'm just saying. Now this right here is a trailer guide on set. And it comes with everything that you need to bolt some trailer guide ons onto your boat trailer. This particular set I bought from Viver. Viver has a store that you can go to and they sell all kinds of products. It's almost like a little Amazon store. But something else that's cool is Viver also sells stuff on Amazon. If you don't know what trailer guide ons are, they made out of PVC and they bolt on the back of your trailer and they help you guide your boat onto the trailer. But something else that's cool about these guide ons, if you're on a steep ramp and you're backing your trailer down, your trailer will disappear and you can't see it. Well, these PVC guides stick up 60 inches, so you'll be able to see your trailer no matter how steep the ramp is. And when your trailer's underwater, you'll still be able to see these guides right here to know where your trailer's at. Now, my boat's black, obviously, and my trailer and my rims are black as well. So I want some black guide ons to kind of match my boat setup. I actually may get these bottom parts powder coated black because I kind of want it all black. But these supports that come with this vivid guide on are very heavy duty. That's like one eighth inch tubing. I mean, that's kind of heavy duty. But the set I got are powder coated. Now, Viver does make sets that are galvanized if you saltwater fish or if you just want some extra protection. And like I said, every other bit of hardware that you're going to need comes with this set right here. So you'll be ready to put them on as soon as you get it. Now these guide-ons are black. And something else I think I'm going to do is they got a nice cap on the top. I think I'm going to drill a hole in it and put me some lights on here so that I can see it better at night. That would be a cool hack too right there. Now something else that I thought was cool concerning these boat guide ons you can get pads and covers for this pvc it's kind of like a big pool noodle that goes over this pvc right here and they make a cover that goes over the pool noodle and it makes your boat look really really clean i actually found some on amazon and i think i'm gonna order me some but if you've ever noticed the high dollar sea arts come with those covers already on them i'm just saying so i'm gonna put me some on mine too you know what i'm saying I made a metal cutting video a couple of weeks ago. On that metal cutting video, most of you probably didn't notice, but I used a little nibbler and it also came from Viver. I'm just saying. Hack number three. You should always keep a spare tire on your boat trailer. I mean, what if you have a flat tire? Then you're stuck. I'm just saying. What happens when a frog gets a flat tire? I don't know. He gets towed. You know, towed. What do you call a Harley Davidson with no tires? I don't know. A groundhog. Why did the chicken only cross the road halfway? Oh my God. Because he got tired. All right, that's enough of that. Next hat. Next hat. But that spare tire being on your boat trailer all the time gets dirty and it can start looking bad, you know what I'm saying? Well, I had an awesome idea one day. And what I did was I went on Amazon, started looking at spare tire covers, and you can find those things as cheap as like 12 bucks. Well, I ordered one and it's called PVC Leather. PVC Leather. 
Well, at least we ain't killing cows for it, I guess. But I ordered me one of these things and I got it sent to me. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if your spare tire could make your boat look better? So I did. Look at this slide I made. Look at that bracket I built. Quit bragging. <laughs> you watch my welding video. You can do that too. Come down a little bit. Does that look? I don't care, just don't melt my tire cover. I ain't got but one. You just trying to be a crack starter. <laughs> don't screw up my video. You scared? <laughs> Ooh, that was close. What's well, close? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. Crooked, I'm sorry. I like it. I can't believe you didn't melt it. I'm good. Now you know that that right there looks pretty dang awesome. I really do like that spare tire cover. I mean, it look a lot better than a dirty old spare tire on your boat. That's kind of hard to beat for $14. I'm just saying. And by the way, my wife don't really make spare tire covers normally, but she does make my shirts and my stickers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I've had a lot of people ask me where they can get a shirt or where they can get a sticker. You look right under any video and there's a link that says fishing and stuff gear. Click on that link and it should take you to her store. I'm just saying. Boat trailer hack number four. This hack really is not about your trailer, but it kind of is. Kind of. The next hack is about your ball receiver. Mm. Most people knows what these are. They mount on the back of your truck to pull your boat. And they make those hitches that come straight out. They make those hitches that drop down. Or you can flip them over and make them go up. You know what I'm saying? Well, they also make adjustable hitches. And the adjustable hitches basically slide up and down so you can adjust to whatever trailer you're pulling. Like my buddy David, he's got a really nice one. So... How heavy is this thing? 14,000? 18,000. 18,000. I don't think I need nothing like that on my little truck. <laughs> no. I ain't pulling nothing that heavy either. Yeah, it's cool because they're adjustable. And this is the way they're supposed to go on going down when you got a real man truck. My little truck, <laughs> I had to point it up. <laughs> but the thing is, these hitches get really, really expensive. I'm talking about really expensive. That's all I'm saying. But we don't all need a hitch that'll tow 40,000 pounds, okay? I actually ran across a really cool hitch from Harbor Freight and I got it on sale for like a hundred bucks. And it basically does the same exact thing, except for it's only got 6,000 pound capacity, which is perfectly fine for a half ton truck. I mean, I mean my complete boat, motor, and trailer is less than 2,000 pounds. So a 6,000 pound hitch is fine with me. This adjustable trailer hitch ball comes in really, really handy. Let's just say I wanna pull my wood splitter. Tongue on it is pretty low to the ground. Well, in that case, I can put it in the bottom hole. Let's say I'm pulling my regular trailer. Well, in that case, I can put it in the second hole from the bottom. Now my boat trailer tongue sets up higher than both of those. Well, in that case, I can move it up to the third hole. So you can put these things on pointing down or you can put these things on pointing up. And it has two different balls on it and that's kind of cool too. Number five. Now, one of the things that I put on my boat trailer that I've never regretted was retractable boat tie downs. And I had those old tie downs that you had to put on your boat and you had to put them on your trailer and then you had 
take them completely off when you went fishing and either put them in your boat or I hope nobody stole them. But the new retractable tie downs are really freaking cool. These back tie downs are one of the nicest features that I added to my boat trailer. If you've ever used the old kind, when you're using your boat in the water, you have to take them completely off. These stay on the trailer so people can't really steal them. I mean, you could steal it, but there ain't no epidemic of tie down thefts going on. I'm just saying. But these things are really cool because you can pull out as much slack as you want like a seat belt. When you get it up to your boat hitch point, you just hook it up, then you just click this thing. And it's ties a banjo string. And it's really that simple. Now, when you get to the lake and you wanna put your boat in the water, you see that button right there? You just push it, and this thing will come right back off, and it'll reel itself up. Boat trailer hack number six. If you watch my channel at all, then you've seen this next boat trailer hack because it's my absolute favorite, and that is boat trailer steps. Funny you bring up steps. Do you know what the first step to not being rude is? Don't stare. You're doing it. Stop staring. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm sure you've seen a video with my buddy Steps that he builds. And I would say that that's probably the number one trailer hack that I would advise. If you don't have some steps on your trailer, you need to get some. Most people think of trailer steps as getting in and out of your boat at the boat ramp. When I'm getting ready to go fishing, I change my gear a lot of times according to where I'm fishing at and what I'm fishing for. Well, if you got you some trailer steps, you don't have to keep climbing in and out of that boat. And that's all I'm saying. Now, I do have a video on how my buddy builds those steps if you wanna try. You can go over there and check it out. That's all I'm saying. Boat trailer hack number seven. Another great way to upgrade your boat trailer that people don't really think about is with bearing buddies. Now bearing buddies fit on your hub and they basically keep the grease under pressure. So when you're backing your boat trailer into water over and over and over again, you're not getting water penetrating your grease and your bearing, which will eventually cause it to wear out. And speaking of hub burns, another great trailer hack I had on a fishing hack video. And on that video, I took some bearings for your trailer, packed them in grease, and then vacuum sealed them, which is pretty dang cool because it keeps dirt out of the grease. And anytime you need those bearings, they're ready to go on. I'm just saying. But if you don't want to go through all that hassle, you can buy a whole hub assembly. Say you have an accident on the road, bearings go out. Most of the time people buy bearings and seals and redo it. You can just buy the whole hub, keep it in your car. So when it does go out, all you gotta do is take your old bearing off, literally slap this on, take the other one off. Makes it easy. Hack number eight. You should always lock your boat trailer. And what I mean is get a lot to go on your boat trailer. Because believe it or not, boat trailers get stolen out of boat launch parking lots all the time. I probably wouldn't believe it myself, but I know several people it's happened to. So get you a lot to go on your boat trailer. Something I like to do if I'm not using my trailer, I put my lock back on my trailer. That way someone can't hook it up to their truck and run off with my dang trailer. You know what I'm saying? And anytime you go to the lake, you should put a lock on your trailer. You can also get these locks that look like a ball and they go in the tongue where the ball on your truck goes in it. And then you can lock this on there. Keep people from stealing your trailer that way too. This one looks like plastic, but it's actually all made out of metal. But I got this one at Harbor Freight and it wasn't really all that expensive, but I believe it'll work. Yep, ain't nobody stealing this trailer. Boat trailer hack number nine. Another awesome upgrade that you can do to your boat trailer is upgrading your rollers. Some boats only have one roller on them, but other boats have lots of rollers. Now the roller on your boat is pretty important. And some boats come with these rubber rollers which get mashed flat and wore out over time. But you can buy an upgraded roller. My boat actually came with this. But I did have an old tracker that had a rubber roller on it and it always got mashed flat. But that's a very simple upgrade of grading your rollers. Number 10. Something else you can do to your boat trailer is add adhesive tape. Just put tape all over it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
They make an adhesive tape that's basically sticky sandpaper. You can buy this stuff at the store, you can buy it off Amazon, you can buy it different places, but you can stick it in different places on your boat where you might have to step up and stand and keep it from falling off of it. Right here is the tongue of my boat. You would not believe how many times I've seen people stand on this tongue and fall at the lake. You would not believe how many times I've stood on that tongue and fell off of it at the lake. I'm just saying. But I can take some of that grip tape and I can stick it on my tongue right here and I wouldn't be falling off of it this much. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. And as far as that goes, some boats come with this stuff already on them. Well, there you have it. Some awesome boat trailer fishing hacks. Look, if you like this video, then you're probably gonna like this video, or maybe this video, or one of my videos. I don't know. I'm just saying, you're gonna like one of them. Maybe. But, odds are, you're gonna like one of them. So go over there and check them out, because this video's over.